Um, this week, we've been focusing on adoration. We did a lot of adoration on Monday, and then we did it in Daniel groups on Tuesday, and then yesterday, at the end of our assembly, we did adoration, and today, I just wanted to um, share a little bit of something that I that I feel like just a way that I re-fell in love with Jesus this week um, while doing a meditation. I'm going to read, this is from Revelation 19, uh, starting at verse 11. It's, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and wages war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, linen, white and clean. Coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword which, with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty, and on his robe and on his thigh he has his name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Um, we have been focusing on how amazing Jesus is, because when we're tired, the amazingness of Jesus is what carries us through. And when I read that, um, this is happening at the end of the world. Um, there's a beast who's taking out all the Christians. You know, all the, the seven trumpets, all the seven bulls, like all the plagues are happening. The world is falling apart. There's like no more sun and no more moon. And like a third of the earth has died like three times. So everyone's like dying. And in the midst of that, Jesus comes back in all of his glory and his name is still faithful and true. Like at the end of the world when everything has fallen apart, his name is still faithful and his faithfulness is still true. Like our God is going to come back and he is faithful through all of that. And then he is coming back to fight and to win. He's, there's, once he comes back, like, we will know no more defeat. And um, I was just thinking about that, like, Jesus has been sitting up there in heaven for the past, I don't know how long, but, and he's been watching his people get defeated, like, um, in the Bible times when his, when the Israelites were constantly being defeated by enemies, and then in modern times when we, we have the Holocaust, and then we also have, like, our individual, like, little defeats, you know, where you like going through your day and you just feel defeated. And Jesus watches that and he sees every single defeat and it makes him angry. And when he comes back, he has victory for every single one of those little battles that we fight and we lose. He holds the victory for all of that. So I just, this is the last day of this week, but we still have another week. I just want you guys to go through it remembering Jesus holds your victory for every single defeat and he's going to come back and he's faithful through everything. So I'm just going to pray. Jesus, we just thank you for how amazing you are. Thank you that we got to take time this week to just focus on your goodness and your how much bigger you are than our circumstances. And I just ask that this weekend that you would remind us um, as we study for our finals, as we do our crazy amounts of homework, that you would just remind us that you're bigger than this, that you're good, that you're in control, and that you're coming back with um, in all of your glory and in all of your victory. So we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Um, are there any announcements?